CNN, Andrew uh, Kanziski, I believe his last name is pronounced, went after, or at least was part of a group of people at CNN that went after the person who made the CNN takedown video that Donald Trump promoted on his Twitter account. Now, I was under the impression that someone working for President Trump you know, made the meme video, right? But I didn't think twice about who did it. It didn't matter to me because the bottom line is, I may not agree, I don't agree with the video's implication of violence, but it is satire, okay? Is Does it, it preaches, the video itself does preach a certain harassment from a certain angle, okay? But the bottom line is, I keep saying the bottom line lately, but I'll just say this. As much as I disagree with the video, and as much as I thought the president was criminal in his behavior for supporting the video and not acting like a president, it wasn't worth harassing a teenager or anybody who made the video. These meme videos are made all the time. To threaten to call out or harass somebody, as CNN did, was beyond the pale. They spent a lot of time on that that was better spent going and doubling, tripling down on this matter of Russia's involvement in hacking our election. This was a waste of time. And to have this reportedly 15-year-old kid do this mea culpa, so what? You know? Uh, um, he didn't release the video on President Trump's tweet. That's the whole point. In CNN's obvious anger, they sort of missed the the main focus of what this is about. It's about Donald Trump. It's not about somebody else. It's about the president and what he did. And they shifted the blame in a way. And they did it and they picked on someone who was obviously vulnerable and who perceives himself as far less powerful than an institution like CNN. That was completely wrong. Two wrongs don't make a right.